What's up guys? Today's video is on the top 10 best gaming laptops 2024 through extensive research and testing. I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Acer Predator Triton 17X. The Acer Predator Triton 17X has it all. A high refresh rate display, a sturdy design, a broad port selection, and powerful internals. The internal components include an Intel i9-13900HX CPU, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 GPU, 32GB of DDR5 RAM, and 1TB of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. That is an incredible amount of power right there. In our graphics tests, it surpassed many major competitors, including the Razer Blade 18 and the Alienware X16. The 17-inch display features a resolution of 25 on 60 z 1600 a refresh rate of 200 or has, and a response time of 3 mms. Our reviewer claims the display offers the best contrast he has ever seen on a panel of this size. Talk about tremendous praise. The connectivity choices include two USB-A, two USB-C, Thunderbolt, one HDMI 2.1, one SD card reader, one 3.5mm combo audio port, one 2.3 gigabit Ethernet, and one Kensington lock. If you're looking for a 17-inch gaming laptop with exceptional performance, go no further than the Acer Predator Triton 17X. Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 16. When one screen isn't enough, the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 16 provides two, driven by AMI's top-tier Ryzen 9 7945HX, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080U. The second screen, branded ScreenPad Plus, adds some more real estate for chat applications or guidance while gaming and pops up to improve ventilation. The primary tiny LED panel, which measured an astonishing 684 nits of brightness on our light meter, looks fantastic with HDR games and entertainment. It's matte, whereas the ScreenPad Plus is glossy, but that's a tiny difference. Asus forgoes the typical RGB on the lid in favor of glossy purple and blue lines, and the result is a polished and distinctive appearance. Now, if only Asus could improve the positioning of the keyboard and mousse, which has been problematic for several generations. You'll have to determine whether the second screen is worth it. Lenovo Legion Pro 5i Gen 8. For about $2,500, you can obtain a 16-inch eSports computer with a screen that supports high-resolution, intense titles. The 2560X1600 display has a refresh rate of 165 Hz, which is fast enough for 1080p eSports, and the high resolution makes action games seem excellent. Sure, some gaming laptops have quicker scruns, but they are typically more costly. The i in 5i Pro represents Intel. We tested using an Intel Core i7 13700HX and NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4060. Our system also had 16GB DDR5 RAM and a 512GB SSD. This model boasts a higher quality 1080p camera than previous models, making it suitable for both work and play. We discovered that the SSD was speedy throughout our tests and provided competitive gaming performance. That being said, you might want to look into one of the best gaming headsets because there is a lot of fan noise and the audio quality isn't great. Asus ROG Strix SCAR 18. 18-inch 18 gaming laptops are popular with big 16x10 displays combined with some of the most powerful components on the market. The Asus ROG Strix SCAR 18 is costly, but with an Intel Core i9 in 13980HX and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, it can handle even the most intensive games with real graphics. The 2560X 1600-240Hz panel offers several options, such prioritizing gaming at high resolution or turning it off and playing eSports at high frame rates. Given the system's capabilities, certain games will run at high resolutions and refresh rates. If you like a gaming style, the Strix has RGB logs and strong branding. While Asus included a webcam, it only has 720p resolution, 
which is disappointing given how high-end everything else on this system is. Aside from the performance, we like this system's powerful and clear speakers, as well as the fact that the display was bright, 402 nits on our light meter. Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. If you're a mobile PC gamer, a thin PC like the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 may be right for you. The Zephyrus is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HS and an AMD Radeon RX 6800S, as well as the company's patented innovation SmartShift, which transfers power between the CPU and GPU, and Smart Access Memory. Asus included a camera in the most recent update, which was missing from prior models. The all-AMD model has also gotten taller, with a 16-10 aspect ratio. The Zephyrus operated for more over 10 and a half hours in our battery test, implying that you could use this laptop all day when not gaming. It is, however, quite costly. The Zephyrus starts at 1799 and we evaluated it with top-tier features for 2199 99s MSI Katana 15. The MSI Katana 15 is one of our favorite gaming laptops under $1,000. We tested a $999 model with a Core i7-136200H, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050, which delivered great 1080p performance, but you may need to lower some settings in some games. Even for less than $1,000, you get 16 GB of RAM and 1 GB of storage, which is wonderful to see because those are generally the first parameters to be dropped for a budget PC. Instead, the chassis is composed of inexpensive plastic, but the internals should suffice. The panel isn't the most vibrant, but its 144 Hz refresh rate will be useful for eSports enthusiasts. We were also impressed with the speaker's quality considering the pricing. Acer Nitro 16. The Acer Nitro series frequently appears on our list, combining build quality, performance, and inexpensive cost to provide a respectable product. The Nitro 16, which replaces the previous Nitro 5, provides the entry-level power of an RTX 4050 and a Ryzen 5 7640 UHS, but with some extras for around $1,000. Our 999 evaluation device had a 1920x1200, 165Hz display with G-Sync technology, ideal for competitive gaming. Our light meter measured 371 nits of brightness, and it covered 91% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. We particularly admired the laptop's 8 hours and 24 minutes of battery life on our test, which outperformed comparable laptops in its class, some by several hours. The webcam isn't great, and Acer has a tendency of including a lot of software on laptops that you'll have to erase later. However, the fact that USB 4 is available for less than $1,000, along with a nice screen and respectable performance for the price, makes this an excellent pick for anybody with a $1,000 budget. MSI Raider GE78HX 17-inch laptops may no longer be the largest available, but they may still provide a good blend of power and immersion. The MSI GE78HX Raider is a powerful laptop. We tested it with an Intel Core i9-13950HX and RTX 4080 with a 17-inch screen that has a trendy 1610 aspect ratio, 2560x1600 resolution, and 240 hertz refresh rate. This laptop makes the most of its dimensions by incorporating several connectors, including as Thunderbolt 4, multiple USB Type-C and Type-A ports, an SD card slot, HDMI 2.1, Ethernet, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. There's also a massive touchpad, which is amusing given that most gamers use mouse, beneath the Raider's most comfortable keyboard. MSI modified the laptop for this year, making it less subtle than before. It features a racing style with black and red colors. Under the wrist rest, there is an RGB light strip that displays each individual bulb, giving it a nostalgic feel. Asus ROG Strix G16. The Asus ROG Strix G16 is quickly catching up with Razer in terms of powerful portable gaming laptops. The Strix G16's Core i9-13980HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 delivered impressive performance in a 0.89-inch thick chassis. Is the design as elegant as Razer's blade? No, but at $1,999.99 when we tested it, Asus competes on pricing. We particularly like the Strix's battery life, 
which lasted 8 hours and 49 minutes during our battery test, as well as the RGB keys with 2 millimeters of travel. The laptop's lid is made of aluminum, while the rest of it is plastic. Throughout our testing, we never thought the ROG Strix G16 was cheap. Perhaps the most significant difficulty we encountered was that our machine featured a 1920x1200 touchscreen. The RTX 4070 should be able to handle that. However, in this price range, 1440p or 1600p on 1610 screens like this one, displays are common. MSI Titan GT77HX MSI may not have used an 18-inch display on its flagship laptop, but in our tests, we were impressed. The Intel Core i9-13950HX and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 delivered strong performance, making this one of the most powerful gaming laptops we've encountered. The 17-inch 16.9 display is also rather impressive. MSI has used mini LED technology, which makes the 4K 1 and 44 full hertz display seem fantastic. It's not an OLED, but in our testing it looked almost as good, with extraordinarily high scores on both our light meter, 511 nits, and color emitter, 161.6%, sRGB, 114.5% DCI P3. Add in a Cherry MX mechanical keyboard that's a joy to use, along with per key RGB illumination to keep it looking excellent. And you've got some luxury that most gaming laptops lack. The Titan's battery life at less than four hours in our tests, making it a true desktop replacement. However, if you're ready to pay for these high-end components and don't intend to disconnect too often, the Titan is a fantastic system. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later, guys.